on the first Sunday of every May, 32,000 bicyclists ride car free through all five boroughs of New York City. Join us for the five row bike tour for useful tips, incredible sights, and maybe even a little beer. Beer. <laughs> this is Magellan. And this is Greyhound. Where we make videos about epic road trips, kayaking, hiking, and other outdoor adventures. So what's our first tip after you've registered for the tour? Start planning out how you're getting there, even before you get your assigned start wave. Whether flying, driving, or taking the train in, staying in a hotel, or living nearby, 32,000 people will be trying to get to downtown Manhattan the same morning as you. Also, you can't just show up to the tour. You'll need to pick up your packet or have a proxy to do it the Thursday, Friday, or Saturday before. The packet contains your helmet cover, bib, and bike plate. Per our usual, we took the train in from Long Island to Penn Station. One of the top tips I would definitely give you is if you are stuck between more than one bike that you own, pick a light one. Mine's nice and light, right? Yes. <laughs> Ready for the five borough bike tour? Yeah. <laughs> we then proceeded to bike to our starting point. It was a very pleasant ride down the Hudson River Greenway with a pretty clear view of One World Trade Center. We eventually arrived at Trinity Place in the Financial District. Welcome to the Five Borough Bike Tour. If you think you're about to start, you're not. Trust us, this is our fifth time. You'll wait here for about an hour unless you're in the first wave. Despite all the efforts to make this run smoothly, Waiting is by far the worst drawback of this tour. Another tip I would definitely recommend is have the bathroom situation figured out. Uh, New York City has got a serious bathroom <laughs> issue and that does not really change for the tour. There are porta potties scattered across the tour at designated rest areas, even the start line, but plan for not being anywhere near it. You excited? Yes. Let's go. And we're off. Just kidding. This is just another in a series of false starts and doesn't mean you're actually beginning the tour. While you may feel like you are, you're just pushing closer to the actual start point. Once you see the Five Borough Bike Tour arch starting line, it's on like Donkey Kong. And we're off. For the first five miles or so, you'll be heading through downtown and midtown. There will likely be some familiar looking buildings, such as the Empire State Building. Our next tip is to bring a portable Bluetooth speaker where you can rock out to some music and get into sing-alongs with your fellow riders. Doobie Brothers, Deep Purple, and Steppenwolf were clear favorites. You'll hear many genres of music whooshing past you, and there are street bands playing as well. Here's good old Radio City. And now we're approaching Central Park. What's really cool about Central Park is you really get a sense of just how large it is. Sure, you can see how massive it is on a map, but biking through it for miles hits differently. Once you exit the park, you'll be in Harlem. And now's about a good time for Greyhound to take care of her heavy tea drinking. I love riding against do not enter signs. It makes me feel special. This is the Madison Avenue Bridge, heading into the Bronx. Unfortunately, you're only in the Bronx for about a mile or two, because before you know it, you're back on the 3rd Avenue Bridge, heading back to Manhattan to get on the FDR Drive. Another tip, you can't bring backpacks or large bags but you can bring pannier bags or open baskets to store anything you need, like snacks or sunscreen, which we also highly recommend bringing. It's pretty cool to bike down the FDR, to be honest. This is usually a slog in a car, and the views are really nice. Did I mention it was a beautiful day all day today? See that huge ship? We're going faster than it. I don't know why I'm happy about this, but I am. Eventually, you'll get off the FDR to make your way to the Ed Koch Bridge. This is definitely not the wrong way today. Unfortunately, the Ed Koch was the first snag of the tour. 
There was a medical emergency and it caused a massive traffic stoppage on the bridge. We had to walk our bikes over almost the entire bridge. How are you liking the five barrel walk tour? <laughs> At least we get some nice views up here. That's the tram to Roosevelt Island, which is underneath us. And now we're heading to Queens. At this point, the tour swings northward. I know no one watching can experience this, but I'm smelling so much great food in the air right now. The tour will then dip over to Astoria Park and head back down south. That's the Hellgate Bridge. And this is the RFK Bridge. Some great views along this route too. Now we're heading up the Pulaski Bridge to head to Greenpoint in Brooklyn. By the way, the first tour of the Five Borough Bike Tour had 250 riders. I think there's a little more than that right now. And now for a much needed stop in Williamsburg, other half brewery. Time for some tasty beer. His and hers. You can even get a water fill up. And we're off again. We just hit mile 25 by the Brooklyn Navy Yard. Here goes something. This neighborhood is called Dumbo, which means down under the Manhattan Bridge overpass. And we are now going under the Manhattan Bridge, hence the noise. This is the famous Brooklyn Bridge, which we've made a video about. Definitely one of the cooler things you can do when visiting New York City. And there's downtown Manhattan across the way. And now for one of my favorite parts of the tour, the Brooklyn Queens Expressway, AKA the BQE. <laughs> I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. For those who may not be aware, this road sucks. I've spent more hours in my life than I care to remember sitting here in gridlock. Is it so wrong to be gleefully riding a bike on it? And now for a fairly long but slow ascent. Lots of walking bikes in this section, including Greyhound. That bike she has does not make this easier. She almost made it to the top. See, she almost made it to the top. From here, you can see the Statue of Liberty and downtown Manhattan in the distance, showing just how far you've come. And now for the last stretch to get to Staten Island. There will be one last water fill up area before the Verrazano Bridge climb. Goodbye, Brooklyn. And here is the Verrazano Bridge. If you're not used to biking, don't feel bad if you need to walk your bike up this. It isn't horrible, but it's not easy either. It's just a long way to the top if you want to rock and roll. Personally, I love to race up as fast as I can and then wait for Greyhound. She definitely lives up to her name. She isn't flashy or fast, but she never stops and she always gets where she needs to be. The coasting down while listening to Thin Lizzy on the Bluetooth was a lot of fun too. Not gonna lie. As soon as you clear the bridge, you'll head into Fort Wadsworth and the finish line. After that, you'll be ushered through a series of curated paths to the festival where you'll get your medal. Yahoo Mountain Dew. You can stick around to listen to some live music or grab a bite to eat. Or you can finish the actual tour. Wait, finish the tour? What do you mean, Magellan? Well, the finish line's actually the 37 mile mark, not the 40. You have three more miles to ride to the Staten Island Ferry. It's kind of a weird letdown, to be honest. Along the way, make sure to head to the waterfront to get a distant view of the place where you started your journey. This last mile is brutal. 
<laughs> and then, the inevitable crash back to Earth from space occurs. A blob of bikers all waiting to go home, vacillating between happiness, misery, relief, and boredom. Just like the start of the tour, the end is not pleasant either, and there are always delays in getting everyone back to Manhattan. This year it was compounded by a medical emergency that shut down the ferries for a long while, which normally run every 15 minutes. Thankfully, the Staten Island Ferry is enormous, and there's a few ready to go to scoop up what was probably thousands of people at that point. You look tired, are you tired? You want pizza? Okay, we'll get pizza. As for some other tips, make sure you have a comfortable bike seat and wear clothing where you won't chafe. 40 miles on a bike, 50 if you're us going back and forth to Penn Station, can be a bit rough. Also, this tour can be fun by yourself, but going with other people is way more fun. Next tip, don't overdo it on Cinco de Mayo. Uh, this year, Cinco de Mayo is two days before the uh, bike tour. Don't eat Mexican <laughs> twice in one day. <laughs> and that's the Fire Barrel Bike Tour. Let us know if you've done it and what was your experience like. We've now been in every wave except for the first. And we can now say with utmost certainty, the earlier the wave, the better your experience will be. We'll see you on the trails or in the water.